by, by the which we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. So he's saying this one sacrifice of Jesus, this one sacrifice, it's only going to happen once. Jesus is not coming back to be sacrificed again. He said, through this one sacrifice for all sin, it also means for all men. He's done away with the sin problem because Jesus was the perfect sacrifice. There's no need for any other. God gave his very best. The sinless blood of Jesus was sacrificed for all mankind. In verse 11, it says, Every priest that standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices which can never take away sin. See, those sacrifices of the bulls and the goats, they didn't take away sin. They covered the sin. See, those sins were atoned for, were covered. Jesus' sacrifice remitted our sins, the remission of sins. Now, Jesus' sacrifice did away with sin. He didn't cover sin. He did away with sin. He took the sin problem upon himself, his whole body. That's why it was so devastating that the scripture says that, that at Calvary, he didn't even have the appearance of man. All of the sin, sickness, disease was placed on one man, the man Christ Jesus. So that we could walk sin free, we could walk in health, we could walk in blessings, we could keep our focus on Jesus and Him crucified for our sin. We could keep our eyes then on what it is God wants us to do. And He really wants us to do to rule and reign the same way Adam was created to rule and reign over all the works of God's hand. Mankind was created in God's image and in God's likeness, and it's through the blood of Jesus that he's returned us to that position. He's made it so that we can walk as though there was never a sin problem with God. Now, we're coming down to the end of our hour. In the next lesson, we're going to continue this study in Hebrews and go a little further than that. But we're not rushing through this. There's one thing we want to get to know is that Jesus has taken care of the sin problem for mankind. And in particular, Jesus has taken care of the sin problem for you. He's taken care of the sin problem for me. And he's taking care of the sin problem for those men that God and women they got, and children that God will stand you before and lead you to teach the truth of his word. When I say the truth of his word, the truth straight from his word. Not denominational teachings, not religious teachings, not philosophical teachings, but the teaching of God's Word, the unadulterated Word of God. So what we're going to do is we're going to, in this lesson here, we're in Romans chapter 10, verse 13. And that's where we'll, well, verse 12, that's where we'll start up in our next hour. So take a break, come back, and get ready to study in a deeper manner how God has made you righteousness. Right, he has made you righteous. Well, this is Pastor Stewart signing off for now.